Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 If you're going through something in your marriage, I got you tonight. All right. Hallelujah. If you're going through something with your children, I got you too. Hallelujah. If you're going through something in your health, God got you too. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. If you got identity issues, God got you too. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. If your friend going through something, we got your friend tonight. Matter of fact, 
like you didn't even know you didn't even have the symptoms. I see you, Lord. I see you. I see you. And just the last couple of days, you're bowing from things that you ain't even told your closest friend. You haven't even told your parents yet because their faith level ain't ready to handle where you're at right now. So you're going through some things you ain't told your pastor because their faith level ain't where it needs to be right now to cover you. Praise God. Some of you have experienced some things you're trying to figure out why. Because it's trickling down from the head to the body. That's right. That's right. That's right. Nothing about tonight is going to be what some say traditional. And when you leave here, you're going to be compelled to walk in a different manner. Hallelujah. 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 My God. That's right. Praise God. 2020. That's right. A year of balance. That's right. Praise God. A year of vision. Mm-hmm. And that's just not any kind of vision. 2020 is perfect. perfect. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I said, God, what, a, what is it you want me to tell the people? He said, over in 3rd John 2, he says, above all things in this season, yes. I need for my children, my called out, my ecclesia. Come on. Above all things, I wish that they prosper. But listen, he said, I wish. In other words, it may not happen. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. He said, it's my wish for you. wish for your life coming to pass. The only thing that will keep it from coming to pass if you don't come in covenant with the plan. My God. Hallelujah. Uh, Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Uh, Hallelujah. You don't come in covenant with the word. Mm-hmm. Yes. I gotta get a little deep right now. And if you haven't come in covenant with Jesus, you haven't come in covenant with the word. Hallelujah. Praise God. Right. Praise God. True. Praise Nothing God. Nothing in here applies to you. Help us. Mm-hmm. You're being blessed because you're attached to blessing. Mm-hmm. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Grace is what you're under, but, 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 but don't get it twisted. You can frustrate grace. Paul asked the question, do we keep on sinning? God forbid. Because grace is bound, do you keep on sinning? Because God, I'm praying for you. Do you keep on sinning? Of course not. Because you didn't get called out the first time. <laughs> Do you keep on sinning? Come on, come on. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> God wants you to think about something today. Praise God. Because the truth of the matter is your miracle is contingent upon your reaction. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. The miracle is not thee. The word. It is not thee. It is in our mouth. It is what we confess. That's right. Miracles are around us at every point. Anytime the word goes forth, so does a miracle. Praise God. 
Praise yeah. God. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Praise God. But how do I get my miracle? Get the word. Amen. 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 God is going to move by his word, mm -hmm. not by your emotions Amen. and not by your thoughts. That's right. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I got to show you something in the word, can I? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody got your swords, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't have your sword, if you don't have your Bible, please get next to somebody with one because I need you to see the word. Because once you see it, come on somebody, mm -hmm. and then you hear it, then you will apply it. Mm -hmm. That's what eating is, right? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Education, application, and transformation. That's, That's right. Is, Praise right? God. Mm -hmm. See, God wants to do something. Can somebody say he wants to do it now? He wants, he wants to, to do, do it, it now. now. Do y'all believe that? Yes. 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 So, so, so if, if you believe that God wants to do something now, right, mm -hmm. I need your faith to be now. Okay. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yes. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. I need you to exercise some faith like never before. I need you to exercise that kind of faith that you can hold up hands without wrath or without doubt. Come on, somebody. Amen. I need you to operate in that kind of faith that you know, that you know, that you know, that you know, that God said it, and you're going to hold on to that word like a dog on a piece of pork chop bone. I need you to know. Amen. 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 Ooh, glory. Amen. See, God so loved us. Understand something. He has given to each one of us a measure of a faith. Yeah, That's yeah. right. Praise God. So right now, I'm just asking you to use what you got to get what you need. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Yeah. He says, I've given to you a measure of faith. Now, now we often read Hebrews 11 too fast. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah. We often talk about now faith is, right? All right. But he is saying something to us if we take time. See, see like him, I'm a teacher too. I'm a professor. Yes, ma I consider myself a wordologist. Amen. I love words. Yes. Amen. Okay? If ever I'm in something, I know how to get out of it. Two things I know how to find a prophet to sow into. And I know how to go get this word and release it into the atmosphere Amen. and say it, say it, say it until I see it, see it, see it. Yes. Hebrews 11 1 says this. Now. now. When is now? Now. now. Right now. When Wow. Okay, so that denotes a time and a season, right? So what time are we in? Now. What season are we in? Now. So we have come in agreement with that, right? Yes. Okay, so now faith is the substance of things hope for. Hope for. So what is hope? Hope is those things that you believe in God for in prayer. Yes. Now let me, let me put a pause right there. Don't be believing God for her husband. Come on, yeah. Yeah. All right. Come on here. Don't be believing God for her anointing to cook because you're covered. Well, <laughs> <all right. laughs> wow. 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 This is the hour to know the will of God for your life and begin to pray and release the faith, which is the word of God. Okay. Praise God. Back to him. Did he not say, put me in remembrance? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's word, right? Yes. Yes. Put me in remembrance of the word. Let us reason together. In other words, let us dialogue. Mm -hmm. Let us fellowship. Mm -hmm. Let us get an understanding of not only what you want, but why you want it. All right. Wow. Praise God. Because what you want may not be what God has for you. All right now. Amen. 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 So, so right now is the time to search your heart because we got to go quick. See, we, 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 we in basic training. We ain't got 16 weeks. I got six minutes to get you where you need to go. Praise God. Praise okay? God. So I need you to believe. I need you to trust because the word don't lie for nobody. Right. And it don't change for nobody. The word is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We agree with that, right? Yeah. right? So now faith. What kind of faith? Now. So faith. when we're going to exercise this kind of faith? Now. now. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of what? Things, things not seen. So now we're talking about something natural and something spiritual. Mm -hmm. So we often know because the Bible tells us that every spiritual thing comes Thank from you. 
heaven. All right. And, and the Bible sure. also tells us he will withhold no good thing from me. That's right. That's right. So, so, so it's right there for you now. Hey. <laughs> it's right there for you now. Amen. Amen. So, so now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not yet seen. So, so now God has gifted us another ability. He's given us the ability now with faith to call those things that be, be not, not as though they are. So I don't care if your husband is nothing up. He's still a mighty man of valor. That's right. Oh, praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I don't care if your daughter is having babies out of wet like she's still a Abigail. She is still oh, a handmaiden. She oh, is yeah. still a daughter of Zion. Amen. 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 There's going to be a shift up in here. Yes. Now, 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 I, what oh, I want to yeah. preach from, what I want to preach from, I want to preach from mm. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 2. I got to tell you that. But really, once I tell you that, I want to preach from 2 Corinthians 20, from verse 22, somewhere around. Won't be before you long, but I got to tell you this, okay? Now, 2 Corinthians 6 says what? 2 begins at verse 2. Let me get my Bible because I can't quote it without it. But let me read it to you. 2 Corinthians 6, 2 says, and I'm reading from the King, from the uh, NIV version. Yeah. It says, for he said, for who? He. Who talking here? God. Okay. For God says, I have, I have heard thee. Now, what I need you to do right there is put your name right there. Amen. Okay? He says, I have heard. Can I get personal about this thing? Okay. Yes. <laughs> he says, for he said, I have heard Shatanda in a time accepted. Mm -hmm. When is the time accepted? Now. now. Y'all about to say that too, right? Yes. Okay. So now is the acceptable time. So what makes this time acceptable? First of all, we're two or more together. Yes. There I am in the midst. Okay. Mm -hmm. We got that thing, right? Yes. So, so now what makes it acceptable? Because now we have gathered in the name of Jesus and we're going to the Father in Jesus' name. And according to my Bible, it says, whatever I ask the Father in Jesus' name, especially as we have come in a Let's yes, praise God. Praise okay. God. Okay, right, take you somewhere right quick, right? So, so now, because faith is in operation, what kind of faith? Now. Now. Now, now faith in operation when? Right now, right now, and now is the what? Acceptable, Acceptable time, time of God. So now the only thing that God will withhold from you is what ain't good for you. Amen. That's right. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Yes. Amen. 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 He's going to withhold from you right now is what ain't good for you. Hallelujah. Amen. So just maybe Boo Boo Kitty ain't good for you. <laughs> just maybe Nay Nay ain't good for you. Amen. Just maybe working that job ain't good for you, especially when you need to be in ministry. Yes. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. Mama. He says in 2 Corinthians 6 2, he says, For he says, I've heard thee and a time accepted. And in the day of salvation, yes, mm -hmm. okay, let's deal with that. The day of salvation. In other words, now this ain't for everybody, mm -hmm. okay? I, I, I know people tell you that God hear everybody prayer, and, and no matter how you pray, that you will get your prayers heard. Let me tell you, they told you a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right now. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Some folk prayers ain't even got here. <laughs> Never less up here. Yeah. So how do you know that? I can tell by the fruit. Amen. Amen. And if you ain't praying privately, <laughs> ain't gonna get you praying publicly. <laughs> you ain't got no power in person, and you ain't got no power in public. <laughs> So he said the day of salvation. In other words, the day that you have come in covenant with me. Yes. Right. Jesus. 
That's it. That's it. The day you came in covenant with Jesus was the day you was reconciled to the Father. Praise God. Praise God. And that day of salvation is now if you're in God. Now, if you haven't accepted Christ, hang around for another couple of minutes. We're going to give you the invitation. That's right. Praise God. He says this. In the day of salvation, listen what he said in the word. He said, I secured thee. In other words, I heard you. Before that, I was not paying you any attention. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Amen. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. You was on that grace list. Like, grace, my baby, going to get saved. Listen, and understand this. Before you even thank it, there are seeds of righteousness and seeds of unrighteousness. Everybody ain't going to hell. All right, now you better preach it, preach it. If that was not the case, the Bible wouldn't say hell was not engulfing itself, enlarging itself every day. That's right. Come on now. All right. Teach. So it, it is safe to say everybody up in here ain't going to hell. Come on, come on. Come on. Look at man of God, but that's just true. Teach it. Because see, some of the word is on you, but not in you. Woo! Wow. See, when it's on you, he's going to say, depart from me. You workers of iniquity. iniquity. Yeah. I never knew you. But when it's in you, yeah. it's in your walk, it's in your talk, it's in your conversation, it's in your lifestyle, it's in your praise, it's in your worship, it's in your fruit. And the Bible says, in this hour, that he's looking. Who is looking? God himself is looking for those who are those, those who have come in contact with him. He is looking for those who must worship him in spirit and in truth. How are you going to say you got the truth if you ain't got no Jesus? I know. I'm here. My God. My God. Praise God. You have a form of God. God in this. That's right. That's right. And unfortunately, today's church is operating under the form. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. And no power. We're so busy clapping and jumping that we don't even know that Jesus has exited the building. The anointing has gone. The spirit of Praise God has left the glory of God. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's time for us to be reconciled. Praise God. Hallelujah. The only way, the day of salvation. He says, not until then that I'm going to hear you. Mm -hmm. That I'm going to pay attention to you. Mm -hmm. You don't believe it? You can go back to 2 Chronicles 14. He talked about the same thing. Mm -hmm. If my people will come on them and hold themselves, pray, seek their face, turn from with the way, all that. He says, not until then that he was going to hear you. Yes, amen. So you're going through this stuff. You're having baby mama issues. You're having daddy baby issues. You got all the stuff going on. <laughs> you're 60 and you still got issues with your mama and daddy. Come on, somebody. <laughs> so, oh, oh, thank you. Some of y'all trap babies. Y'all know what trap babies go through. <laughs> Did I say something wrong? No, no. no, no. Somebody trying to figure out what a trap baby is. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> You got, your, your daddy got trapped in the midst Please. of him and you and your mama. I think you do it quick. <laughs> oh, oh I didn't know. See, see, oh. some of y'all been dysfunction from conception. That's all you know. Oh, Lord. Oh. That's been your module. That's been your, 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 your okay. module to follow. It ain't oh, your fault. God. You was born into this. The Bible says we're born purse. into sin. Come on, somebody. Purse. Everybody's conception story is different. He would have taken if it was nothing to him, he would have taken a different method. Yeah, yeah. But some of us are still stuck. You still stuck in that generational curse. Yeah. You so stuck now your grandchildren stuck. Your daughter and your son are going through the same thing your mom and daddy went through. They got to stop tonight. Amen. 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 He said, above all things, I wish that you prosper, be in good health, even as your soul prospers. He says, I need balance in 2020. And see, you came here with all these things going on. 
from you the can't bring the person. The woman of God said, she's been, y'all been following her on Facebook, on social media, she's been teaching you. So evidently there's been something that has been ignited in you that have drawn you from where you were, from a place called there to a place called here. Because you needed more than what you had. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Praise God. You need more than what you got. Yes. It just ain't enough to go to church on, nope. on Sunday morning and just leave out the same way you, you went in. It just ain't enough to every, every fall you, every revival get saved, every fall. <laughs> <laughs> every fall revival, you play this. It's me again, Lord. It didn't take the first 12 times. You see it. It's a mindset. There has to be a paradigm shift. Yes, yes. There has to be a paradigm shift. I don't care what you may be facing. There has to be a paradigm shift. There has to be a kingdom shift. There has to be a purposeful shift. There has to be a, a place in you that says, God, not my will anymore. But, but yours. God, Hallelujah. There got to be something in you that thirsts after God like never before. Like a dear pet at the room. Just thirsty for God. There, there Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I, I want to preach it. I want to close. Because I, I told the woman of God, let me tell you. The Lord told me, that I'm going through so much right now, you can't tell it by the way I look like. But, but both of my daddies are sick. I went to preach in Connecticut during Thanksgiving. And when I got back, uh, my father, my, my biological father, uh, right before I left, they put him in the hospital. He had a stroke. And that's only about his fifth one. Okay. Wow, wow. He's 77 years old, AFib, and, and so now the issue's out my head. And, and let me say this to you because somebody <coughs> need to know this. See, my biological daddy had not always been in my life. I'm getting to know my daddy now that he has Alzheimer's, now that he has AFib, and he has all these issues. But the preacher in me had to deal with the little girl. Mm. Yes. Somebody get ready to get the letter right now. The preacher in me, the 51 year old woman <laughs> who sat there by his bedside, and, and this is the only night I have not slept there. I have a biological brother. We have the same mom and daddy. I have about four more other siblings. And I can't be mad at nobody. I'm the only one that has something to do with it. Mm -hmm. But I had to pray about that woman. Yeah. See, when they first told me he had a stroke, I said, and? Well, <laughs> like the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I'm asleep. Yeah. 30 minutes later, they called me again. They said, your father has had a stroke. And I said, why are you telling me? Can I get real with somebody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I said, why are you calling me now? I ain't seen it. I ain't heard from him. The last I heard, he was married to this woman over such and such, such and such. And you know such and such, such and such. Uh -huh. The Lord began to do it. Here, they can do one baby to hear. I never told you that your father had to be an anointed man. I never told you your father had to be a good man. I said, honor thy mother and thy father. Let your days here on earth be. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, my God. So now I'm getting to learn how to honor a man. Can I tell you something that I don't even like? Are y'all looking at me like that? Tell the truth. How can I like somebody I don't know? That's right. No. That's right. I love him. Yes. Because for sure, I got his DNA. That's right. That should be an embedded thing. But I'm white. I don't like his way. I don't like his attitude. I don't like how he talked to me. And you know what? He better not say too much because he didn't pay for the doctor's degree at all. 
I'm trying to get somebody to live with him. I'm going through these things while the preacher is sitting at the bedside having to deal with the issues of her past. Can somebody say now? Now. now. But God. But God. But God. Oh, God. Jesus. And I, I sat there and the doctor gave me the diagnosis. He has Alzheimer's and this and this and this. And they're going to place him in a facility and I'm relieved. Let me talk to y'all a little bit. <laughs> and I'm relieved, woman of God. I'm relieved because I don't want that responsibility. Not that I can't deal with it, but I don't want it. Ooh, tell Ooh, Jesus. He's my, my blessing, but he's my burden. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's my blessing. He's my father. God used him to get me here, but he's my burden because now I got to deal with issues of insecurity. Rejection! My sons are 32 and 30. I've been divorced 29 years. 29 years it took me to be healed. From an absentee. I became so independent that I didn't know how to depict it. And then I had to go inside this heart. Inside this heart. Yes, God. I said to God, how am I to deal with this? How am I to cope with this when all these things are happening and it's affecting my ability mm -hmm. to love. Right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's affecting my ability for second chance. Mm -hmm. It's affecting my ability to open up my heart. What do I do? The Lord began to show me a particular passage. And when I went to this passage and I began to do the word, hear what I say. When I began to do the word, see the problem is we don't want to do the work. Amen. In this society of microwaveism and everything is instant with Instagram and all that, you want everything right now. But see, I didn't understand that what God was allowing me to go through with my father was going to deliver a nation. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. I didn't understand that what God was allowing me to go through those years. <laughs> Come on, somebody. I call it my wondering years. I wonder where my daddy at. I wonder who we with. I wonder how many children you got in my wondering. Come on, y'all. I didn't realize that during those wondering years that God Amen. Yeah. 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 It was during those wandering years that he became my strength. Yeah. It was during those wandering years that he, listen, 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 listen. He became my validation. The problem is some of y'all in here, you ain't been validated. Yeah. 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 I experienced something I had never experienced in my life during those wandering years. The gift of the Holy Spirit. Yes. The gift of a comfort. Yes. The gift of a healer. Yes. The gift of a deliverer. Yes. Somebody that was going to make me smile and laugh when there was nobody around. Thank you. Yes. See, God began to, okay, to, do so. to deal with me on a whole nother level. And I don't know why he has shifted me here because somebody over here don't been through this yeah. and, and needs yes. to be delivered. And, and you back there in the yellow, God's getting ready to take you to a whole nother realm with the yellow scarf around your neck. Hallelujah. Because I, I, I see you crying in the midnight hour. I see you wiping your tears. I, I see you saying, don't nobody understand, but God said, yes, baby. So 
somebody do understand and because they do understand 